Hi everybody, welcome back to the Stony Creek and Poor Valley Railroad. I'm Bill. Today we have a really interesting project. I just got myself a Blue Nami uh, 4408 decoder and I'm going to install it into a 1970s Williams Trainmaster. I'm going to go through the process, what things I'm doing, and if all goes well, We'll run it on the new uh, 072 loop that we've got set up. So let's get started. All right, so here we are, a 1970s Williams FM Trainmaster. This has two DC Pittman motors. Right here we see that there is a bridge rectifier in it and a Lionel E unit. And of course, lights at both ends. What we have to put in, this is a uh, AC to DC filtered power supply. So that is a bridge rectifier plus a capacitor built together. We have a 16 ohm speaker for which we're gonna be building a baffle. And we have our Blue Nami 4408. So we'll go through the, uh, the whole thing. First of all, I'm going to set aside the new parts. And our first stage will be to remove the E unit and the rectifier from the system so that all we have is the pickups coming from the, uh, or the wires coming from the pickups chassis ground and then we will leave the parallel motor configuration in place and uh, get back to uh, on target here sorry about that and then we will uh, rewire the lighting so uh, we'll get started on the decomposition all right here we go we have got the uh, unit stripped down so all we have is the wires coming from our pickups we have our lights with their leads. <clears throat> and we have <clears throat> the wires going to the two motors so that they run in series. So here are the parts that we removed. We've got a bridge rectifier that we've taken out bracket for mounting the E unit, the mechanical E unit, a couple of screws and a couple of extraneous wires. So now we'll get on to mounting the Blue Nami card and uh, wire it up. So as you can see the uh, next step is to install this uh, filtered power supply. So what we're going to do in order to isolate it from the frame because on the back, these uh, these the back side of the board has plenty of opportunity for shorting. So I'm going to hot glue it to this piece of cardboard, and then hot glue that into the uh, into the unit. I do have to say that uh, we do have the foreman on the job. Old girl here wants to make sure that we do everything exactly correct. Well, I am not so sure whether you guys can hear this or not. We got lights, we got sound, and uh, I did do the motor test and it does run. So we're going to uh, put things back together and do a little bit of uh, running. But first, I just want to show you guys, let's see, it's on forward. So you see that it moves, hit the button for reverse. And notice that our uh, directional lighting changed. That's really cool. That is seriously cool. 
um, using the app, the number of things that I could configure is just pretty amazing. Oh, I want to do coupler sound. And uh, independent and tra train brakes. Yeah, <laughs> this is, look at this, guys. You, this is pretty amazing. Um, it took me, uh, as I said. All right, so here we are. We're out in the uh, main train room where we got a new uh, 072 loop up. Uh, we got the uh, Blunami app, app up on the iPad. Let's go over here to the ZW and give her some juice. Okay, and I go into standard control. Oh, want to make sure that I do this. Go into settings. And we are going to make our... Okay, we got the Baldwin 4408. Sound settings, main sounds, and we are going to change our prime mover to Fairbanks Morse. Good. Yeah, there we are. Let's see what kind of horns we got here. Got several Nathan horns. I'm going to go with an early P5. And uh, let's see. For the air compressor, we'll leave it at the EMD shaft driven. And go back and got it set to forward. And let's give her some. Well, that wasn't fun. Okay, so we needed to make an adjustment. The baffle was up against one of the uh, connections and was making it intermittent. Let's fire it up. She's connected. All right, into standard. Isn't that smooth? I think I'm going to have to adjust that bell, bell volume. How do we do okay, that? Okay, so I realized that uh, with the mic that I was using that I really got terrible audio of the actual uh, engine running. So I wanted you guys to hear that. This is about a quarter of the throttle.
And now I'm going to show you how slow this thing can creep. There is creeping. This is something you just don't see in uh, conventional control at all. This is smooth as can be, and uh, I'm pretty impressed. Um, this is about the same price as a PS3 upgrade, but I didn't have to buy a TIO and controller, so literally the Blue Nami has saved me <clears throat> probably hundreds of dollars. I, I really like it. Um, so many things that you can configure on the handbrake. Uh, HEP mode, I need to learn what that is. Straight to idle. Knocks, if you're running it uh, a high idle, it'll knock it right back down to, uh, to idle speed. Of course, that wasn't applicable because I was running real slow, but here's straight to idle. Oh, I guess that's just for the sounds. Hmm. So there we are running the, uh, what they call straight to eight, which is uh, cranks the engine up to uh, sound like it's at notch eight. Uh, if I do the grade crossing button, I get the standard, uh, the standard horn pattern. I'm going to drop down to idle now. Yeah. Okay. So with this at idle, I'm going to go in. I'm going to configure some sounds here. Uh, sound settings, other sounds. Let's see. With dy dynamic brake, radiator fans, alarm bell. Gas turbine, train brake, in the, in the brake, gen set prime mover, cab doors, relay clicks, e brake, glad hands, coach doors, the clickety clack, the sounder valve. Ah, there we are, fuel loading. That's what I wanted to get that turned up. So back, back, and let's get some fuel. Let's see how this sounds. All right, so there you go. There it is, the Blue Nami 4408. Like I said, this is in a 1970s uh, Williams FM Train Master. This happens to be the Pennsylvania one. I've got a few more sitting around here. And uh, yeah, that's a very, very worthwhile upgrade. Um, I still have some studying to do. I do intend to uh, change one of those headlights to a Mars light and uh, and those little and the uh, ditch lights underneath the markers or, or under the uh, number boards. I'm going to change those to be uh, separate and colored. I uh, haven't figured out exactly how I want to run it, but yeah, I've got just a couple of really fun things that I've got in mind. With that, I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.